solve the initial value problem y prime is equal to the quantity x plus y minus 2 all squared with the initial condition y of 0 is 0. And now we're going to do this using substitution because look, at first glance, you can see the derivative is equal to this quantity squared, which means we're going to end up with y being squared. So this is not even a linear differential equation. So it's very so difficult to solve explicitly without using some type of substitution or some type of trick. Okay, so first thing is what is the substitution that we're going to use? Now, it's not obvious, especially if you haven't done substitution a lot. It's kind of one of these things that you build up intuition as you do more examples and try, see all the different possibilities. But in this case, I'm going to use u to be the whole part inside. x plus y minus 2. And you can see when I do that, and I take the derivative with respect to x of both sides, on the left side I get u prime. On the right side, I get x with respect to x is 1, and derivative of y with respect to x is y prime, and derivative of a constant is 0. And so now you can see, well, on the right-hand side here, I have u squared. And on the left-hand side, from this equation, you can see y prime is u prime minus 1. So on the left-hand side here, I have u prime minus 1. And from here, again, this is not even a linear equation because we have a u squared term here. However, Notice that if I isolate u prime, I get u squared plus 1. In other words, the derivative of u is equal to a function of u times a function of x, which is just 1 in this case. Like, right? So in other words, this is a separable differential equation. Right? If I write the left-hand side as du dx in the Leibniz notation, u squared plus 1. Now I'm going to move all the u terms to the left-hand side and all the x terms, which is just the dx, to the right-hand side. And so I get 1 over u squared plus 1 du is equal to dx. And now you can see we can integrate both sides. So the integral of u squared plus 1 du is equal to the integral of just dx. Now on the right-hand side, it's pretty simple. right? We just get x plus an arbitrary constant. On the left-hand side, this is one of those integrals you kind of just have to know and remember over time. This is the arctangent of u. The integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 is the arctangent of u. And now we really want the equation in terms of x and y, not x and u. And so I'm going to substitute back in arctangent of x plus y minus 2. The right-hand side stays the same. And now from here, I could solve for y right away. But if I solve for y, that's going to involve taking the tangent of x plus c and all of that. So I'm going to evaluate the initial condition right away. y of 0 is 0, and so if I plug in x equals to 0 and y equals to 0, I get arctangent of negative 2 on the left-hand side, and I just get c on the right-hand side. So I've solved for my constant, which means our particular solution is arctangent of x plus y minus 2 is equal to x plus arctangent of negative 2. And now this is, you could say, an implicit solution because I haven't directly solved for y, but in this case we can actually solve for y by taking the tangent of both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, it'll cancel out the arctangent, so I get, um, I get x plus y, I just get the inside part, x plus y minus 2. And then again, I take the tangent of the right side of the equation. And then I isolate y by adding 2 to both sides and subtracting x to both sides. And so my final answer is going to be this. And so that is my final answer.